Use the Groups tool to design special work areas where learners can discuss, share, and submit work as a group. This tutorial shows how to create groups in your course. The Groups tool allows you to create and edit groups and categories. Categories house collections of related groups. Groups subdivide the learners. To begin creating groups, from Manage Groups, click New Category. First, we will set up the category. Enter a name for the category. Then, enter a description. Select from a number of group enrollment types, which define how learners are enrolled and how many groups are created. Next, we will specify the properties for the group enrollment type. For this example, we will create groups of two learners who are divided into ten groups of their choosing. Then, enter a group prefix, which precedes the group number upon creation. Next, we will set the advanced properties. Click Set Self-Enrollment Expiry Date to set a due date for learners to enroll in a group. Then, select the expiry date. Click Allocate Unenrolled Users After Self-Enrollment Expiry Date to automatically enroll learners who haven't chosen a group by the expiry date. Next, we will specify the workspaces we want to associate with the group category. Workspaces can include discussion areas, lockers, and assignment submission folders. For this example, we want to set up discussion areas and assignment submission folders. When you are ready, click Save. Set up the discussion areas by selecting an existing or creating a new forum, which will be restricted to you and the group members. For this example, we will select an existing forum. From the Forum menu, select Seminar Presentations. Select a topic type. You can create one topic per group or one topic with threads separated by group. Keep in mind that once you create and save the topic, you cannot change the topic type. Then, click Create and Next to finish setting up the discussion topics. You will now be prompted to set up the assignment submission folders. Enter a name for the folder. If desired, select or create a category and grade item. For this example, we will select an existing grade item. Click the Grade Item menu and select the desired grade item. Next, define the possible score in the Out of field. You can add a rubric to assist with grading the assignment or instructions that the learner will see when viewing the assignment submission folder. For this example, Add instructions for the learners so they know which files to submit for the assignment. Finally, you can add files for the learners to review and define the submission options. When you are ready, click Create. Review your workplace summary, then click Done. Now that your workspaces are set up, you are returned to the category creation. Review the category and, when you are ready, click Save. You have now created a category with related restricted group topics for private discussions and assignment submission folders. Use the Groups tool to design special work areas where learners can discuss, share, and submit work as a group.